Hello, my dear lovely students. Today I am Ms. Ruchika welcoming you to end of term exam coverage for grade 11 at once coming up especially for all my students out there. So today we start with the first learning objective use trigonometric identity to simplify expressions. We are beginning with the multiple choice. We will soon go to the free response also. So we start with trigonometry and this is a very very important video for all of you who really want to get good marks in your coming math exams. All the very best and let's start now. Okay, so now we'll be solving the following questions from your end of term for exam coverage for grade 11 advance. Today in this video, we are covering the first learning objective where we use trigonometric identities to simplify expression. So the following questions that you see on the slide that is 28 to 33 are from the first lesson, lesson 11, 1 trigonometric identities. So I hope all the table of identities formula sheet for trigonometry which I gave you in the previous slide you have learned. So let's now apply them for solving questions. We need to simplify them means we need to reduce the terms. Okay, so let's do it. So first we will do 28 here. I will just divide it into three parts so that it and we don't mess up. Okay, so let's do the first one. So first I'm using Pythagorean identity in the numerator. Okay, and how do I know that? I have to use Pythagorean because you see square. So only identity out of question reciprocal Pythagorean co-function and negative angle which helps you to simplify the square is this one. So the identity is sine square theta plus cos square theta is 1. So from here I get if I move sine square on the other side cos square theta as 1 minus sine square theta. So I can plug in this in the numerator and I can replace this 1 minus sine square with cos square. Why do I do that? Because instead of two terms, 1 and sine square theta, to simplify, to reduce the terms, we will just replace with 1. So now I put this cos square in the numerator. So what I get finally to simplify the new expression in the numerator, cos square in the denominator, sine square. Now, I will also use uh, question identity now because I know that when we divide cos theta with sine theta, I get the new trigonometric ratio which is reduced as cot theta. So I will now replace cos theta over sine theta with cot theta and there is square also. Don't forget because this square and this square I combine together in one bracket. So therefore the final answer for this question is cot square theta. So I used two identities. First, I will put it in black box, Pythagorean. Second, I used question to identity. That is when we divide cos with sine, we get cot. That was used this step. Okay, let's do a simple one now. Next one, 29 question. So in this, I am uh, before using any identity, I will just convert everything into sine and cos. So I use question identity and I replace tan with sine theta divided by cos theta. Now remember, when we divide sine theta by cos theta, we get tan theta. So again, I'm using here question identity. For the second one, cosecant square theta, uh, cosecant theta, I use reciprocal identity because I know cosecant theta is the reciprocal of sine theta. So I replace it with 1 over sine theta. Now cancel the common term. You are left with 1 over cos theta. Again, we use reciprocal. Reciprocal of cos is secant. So the final answer for this question is secant theta. So we use two types of identity, question and reciprocal for simplifying 29. Let's do the last one. This is very simple because denominator is same. You have fractions, you have subtractions. So I will just take LCM. LCM means I try to make same denominator which is common. So in the top on the numerator I have 1 minus cos square and I'm sure you're able to identify looking at the power that again Pythagorean identity will help you. So 1 minus cos square to reduce it I will replace with sine square theta using Pythagorean identity same one that we used in uh, 28th question. So this numerator denominator being same will cancel so we're just left with 1. So that's the simplified expression for 28, 29, 30. Let's try the remaining question which are 31, 32, 33 in the next slide. Okay, now let's solve them one by one. Again, I will divide into three parts. 
the first one as you see there is square so you know pythagorean is going to help you so the pythagorean identity that i use for this question is 1 plus cot square theta is equal to cosine square so if i just rearrange the term because i want the difference so i will move this on the other side so sign is changed on the left we just have one left this cot square goes on the other side becomes negative because sign is changed so this is what you get so i replace cot uh, cot uh, cosecant square theta minus cot theta with 1 here in this question so our answer 31 would be 2 times multiplied with 1 which is same as 2 so this is your final answer very easy now here if you notice there is algebra or the algebraic identity that's going to help us so if you see this is a plus b a minus b just see first term same second term same the only difference is in the sign so when that happens we will use algebraic identity a square minus b square also called as difference of squares why we call it difference of squares because you have a square you have b square and then you take the difference or subtract so this whole thing of answer 32 will reduce to a square means 1 square minus b square second term sin theta square can i write in a simple way as 1 minus sin square theta and now i'm sure most of you are able to get it that this is a pythagorean so i put it equal to final answer cos square theta that's the simplified form let's finish last question for today that is 33 again 2 and 2 both are common i take it outside when i collect the like terms i have inside again pythagorean identity so what is the value of 1 minus sin square it is pythagorean cos square so 2 cos square theta that is the final answer for this so with this we finish the first learning objective where we use trigonometric identities to simplify expression that completes your eop for today